Are open houses really just for curious neighbors and weekend strollers? Or can they actually help sell your home? You know, the truth might surprise you because if it's done right, an open house can attract qualified serious buyers and it all comes down to a marketing strategy. So before you put your house on the market and put a sign in the yard, here's what you should know about holding an open house, drawing in the right crowd with the right buzz and marketing plan to back it up. So I am Denise Watkins. I am with the Watkins Team RE with Samson Properties. You know, there is a common misconception that open houses don't sell homes. Some people say that the only people that come through an open house are people who are Sunday strollers who don't have anything to do, nosy neighbors, or looky-loos, not prospective buyers. But the truth is, open houses are a great way to bring in tons of qualified buyers if it's done correctly. So I want to share this story. I listed a house, in, a single family house in Bowie, Maryland. I scheduled an open house the second Sunday after I listed it. So I waited because after checking the weather forecast, it said that it would be heavy rains and thunderstorms throughout the day. So I made sure there would be no rain in the forecast that following Sunday. So I sent notices and invitations to buyers and buyers agents. I ran an ad on Facebook, it reached 22,000 people, and then I retargeted everyone who inquired. My partner even put out 40 directional signs and an open house flag on front of the house. So from one to four, the house was open and we received lots of interest. Many people came through, but there was only one. And I remember her so vividly. She walked in the house twice, she took pictures, she opened the door, she went around the house, and then she went outside and made a phone call. When she came back in, she said, um, I want to tour this house again, but I want to tour with you this time because I have questions. And by then, the open house was over, so I was happy to oblige. And as we walked the house, she asked many questions and I was prepared to answer them. So she said, this is the house. And she knew it immediately when she walked in. She told me that she had an agent and that her agent and her husband would schedule another tour the next day. Well, the next day, I get a call from the agent. They saw the property. Her clients loved it. And she sent me an offer. So do open houses work? Heck yeah, they do. I'm not saying that all of my listings sold at an open house, but you want to explore all your marketing options because you never know where that buyer might come in from. So just know that before you let anyone hold your house open, make sure the agent knows how to market the house properly create the buzz on social media and word of mouth and drive traffic to your home. Now this would include things like creating custom marketing materials unique to your home because every home is different. Posting on the open house on the MLS, but not just the MLS, the Redfin and all those other sites. Running ads on uh, Facebook and social media, you know, and Instagram. Sending out open houses details up to your database and to your friends and family adding tons of directional signs all over the town before the open house, following up on every buyer who visited the open house and anything else that you can do. So if any of these steps are skipped, you'll just end up opening your house only to have a bunch of unqualified people going through it. So make sure you hire the right agent. My name is Denise Watkins once again. Your friend in real estate helping you buy, sell, and invest with confidence. And if you're thinking about selling your home, I can help you with that. You can get a copy of my book, What You Should Know About Selling Your Home. It has helped many clients sell their homes successfully in a time that they selected and for the most money that they asked for. So let me know if you want a copy of it and I'll send you the link. Bye for now.